So I think with uh, any effort that is related to the Qur'an in terms of learning it, uh, teaching it, propagating it, supporting any of these um, engagements, I think is such a profound way of contributing and uh, drawing closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the Messenger of Allah said in the hadith, خيركم من تعلم القرآن وعلمه The best among you are those who learn the Qur'an and teach it. And this includes teaching it, learning it firsthand and teaching it also firsthand, but also means anyone who contributes to this cause is definitely included in the reward. And uh, this uh, project of the Qur'an drive, I think it's a timely one. And uh, it's, I think it fills a void. And oftentimes, uh, I would say this, is, this goes unnoticed because even we Muslims, start to treat the Qur'an as if it is this um, transcendental uh, speech or word that does not relate directly to reality. And I think this is a very serious trap that we have to be very conscious of in order to avoid it. We treat the Qur'an as if it's too ideal for our lives or that it's high above our capacity to engage with it and benefit from it, draw some practical benefit from it. So at times of this, like the pandemic and the lockdowns and people are going through a lot of emotional, mental stress, the rate of suicide is, is going up, the rate of um, overdoses multiplying and people are struggling, marriages are actually suffering. At these times, definitely the Qur'an is the is the book to turn to. It's where we can find the answers. It's where we can really find light in the midst of this darkness. But again, um, it seems not only non-Muslims, but even Muslims don't think of the Qur'an as the first resort. We, we seek, I would say, professional help, which is not necessarily a bad uh, decision. It's actually a good one. But the problem is when we forget the Qur'an and we think the Qur'an does not offer solutions to our problems. And uh, again, sometimes this comes from, this, uh, from a place of holding the Qur'an in very high esteem, but to a point that makes us disconnect from it. So it's important to have this drive, oh, this project, the Qur'an drive at this time. And I think it's very timely as a reminder to humanity in general and to the Muslims that the Qur'an should be your first resort. These are the divine words of Allah. And make this, these tough times, use them as, as the springboard for engaging with the Qur'an at a deeper level. Search for the answers, search for solutions, seek solace, peace in the Qur'an itself. And there is a wisdom why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows suffering, pain, and overall evil to be existent in the world, we know that Allah only allows evil into the world when it is necessary for a greater good. Without suffering, humans would lack all motivation to improve their life and to do something greater. Without the pain of others, we would not dig deep into the depth within us where we are motivated to bring about ease, solutions, um, and we would not be able to tap into the most of the, 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 the moral dimension of who we are, uh, where we are determined to help others, rescue others, bring about solutions without experiencing pain and suffering. So there is a moral dimension to why evil is allowed into the world. And maybe the times, these difficult times that we're going through, uh, they are the reason, one of the reasons why Allah allows this to happen and allows humanity in general to suffer in this way. That is to wake them up to something that is latent within them, something they have ignored, something that they have... I think the convenience of today's life has made humans so comfortable that they lack the motivation to discover the beauty that Allah instilled within them. 
And maybe this predicament is, in a sense, is, is a reason and a motiv motivator for people to start looking for solutions. That the comfortable level of living that you grew accustomed to and that you feel entitled to has blinded you to a lot of blessings in life, a lot of potential in life, and maybe it's time to wake you up. Actually, one of the Western philosophers, or contemporary Western philosophers, has mentioned that pain, in his own language and according to his own doctrine and belief of, of, of Allah, he said, suffering and pain is the megaphone Allah uses to wake up humanity from their slumber, to wake them up to the beautiful depth of, of their humanity. So, trying to put this endeavor in context, I think it is time that we actually start looking into the Qur'an as the place, or the primary place for solutions, the primary place for answers, the primary source for guidance that will help us handle this life and I won't say deal with the predicaments and the challenges of this life, but actually transcend them, engage them at a very high level where we actually grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and even socially. And I think the Quran is at the core of this and at the heart of this process of human growth. And as Muslims, I think it's our responsibility to contribute to the process or to any endeavor that brings the Qur'an to the center of attention, brings the Qur'an to where it truly belongs as the source of all of this change, the source of uh, the answer, the answer to, to human predicaments. So that, that would be my view on why I believe every Muslim should, could, should consider you know, contributing to that. And since we have this in Toronto here, this, I think it's a very brave to reach this goal of a million copies of the Qur'an translated, the meanings of the Qur'an translated into English and uh, being distributed and being handed to people and this might, people who are likely to benefit from it. Um, and looking at the stories of many people who came into Islam and many Muslims who, woke up, who, who came to a point where they woke up to the reality of the Qur'an or the reality of their life. That came mainly in an instance of reading the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the source of guidance. So I definitely think it's a worthy cause and it's an opportunity uh, for, for, for the Muslims to consider sponsoring uh, as many copies as possible and being part of teaching the Qur'an, which is the best a human being can engage in. To support the Qur'an Drive and learn more about it, please visit qurandrive.com.